Good morning, fellow woodworkers. Welcome back to another episode of the workshop vlog. So at the moment I'm building so many things because um, early November my wife and I are planning to move into our house that we are building at the moment. So I'm building all the furniture one after another so you are going to get so many videos in the next time with some great furniture. At least in my opinion it turned out rather great what I have created up until now. Except for a few exceptions, obviously. There are always things that I would like to do better. But never mind that. This morning I went shopping to a local Home Depot, you could say, and I bought a bunch of um, spruce and pine planks and the like because I wanted to build a little photo booth, you could say, with just white background wallpaper added to those um, wooden parts and the like because I'm kind of tired of taking photos at home or here on a black background because it's dusty everywhere, my workshop isn't the most um, cleaned up as you might have noticed in previous videos because I always have a bunch of things to do, I'm also a full-time teacher so I can't really clean up all the time. But this is the motivation for what we are going to do today, we are going to build a white backgrounded photo booth where we can take photos and final short videos for several products just like this bench right here. This bench was the main motivation for building this booth up. I spent about $100 um, this morning and I think this should be enough to build everything up. Now let's get to work, shall we? That's everything that we are going to need and the job will be done pretty quickly using my fast tool domino that I received um, like two weeks ago and yeah we are just going to build a frame using fast tool domino and it's going to be a really easy build and then we are going to glue wallpaper to it, white one. Greatest thing about the domino is that you actually don't need to measure anything, you don't even need to make those marks that most YouTubers do apart from when you want to do uh, dominoes at special positions. But you know, the domino has those, um, those spring-powered distance thingies. And what you can basically do is, they are always set at the same distance. You can, for example, bring it here, right next to this uh, spring-powered thingy, um, knob, and yeah, then you can go ahead and get started with the domino. And if you also use this plate right here, then you are basically settled on a fixed position and then you can just put everything together and it's that easy, it is why I love the domino, it's just a great tool. It's just so well thought through, it's, it's crazy. Festo is doing a great job with their tools every time, no questions asked. I need to plug in the power. Whew. Now we can go ahead and get started. Blah, blah. Festo domino, go! Blah. But of course there's always an exception to the rule. Now I need to make marks because this part right here is too far away from the border. Um, if I were to plug this one on here, um, <laughs> this one is not long enough. I would hit it here with the domino. So I need to make marks. So yeah, I gotta go the hard route you can say, but it's still really easy to use. It's like like a gut bless. It's just a pop-up bless too. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Do you need a domino? No. Do you want one? Of course you do. Now let's continue. So I decided on a different route instead of having just one big frame 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it modular such that I can just place it next to one another because otherwise I can't fit it through the doors. It just doesn't work out and depending on where a big object is in the shop, I can bring it to my attic or something. This, this just doesn't work out. So I need to rethink a tiny little bit, but that shouldn't pose a problem at all. Um, if it's modular, then that's also fine. I can carry it around, adjust it the way I want, and just place it however I wish, and, and then everything should be good, I suppose. And that's about it for the framing. Pretty easy, right? Um, not much to do here. Doesn't need to look nice at the back because I'm going to cover everything with wallpaper. And the bread nails really make it stable for now and now the glue can cure. Let's create a bunch more and then we can tape it up. Wallpaper it up, I should say. All right, been there, done that. We've got four of those and now it's off to taking the wallpaper and putting it over everything. And that should be really easy using just spray glue, spray adhesive. I'm going to do this step upstairs because I don't want to spoil the floor here. And then we are basically done with the photo studio, I think, nice. Wow, that didn't even turn out in any kind of way how I wanted it to. I'm so severely pissed at the moment. I feel like stopping everything for today. There was such a huge waste of money and time. I'm seriously enraged. The wallpaper didn't stick to the spray adhesive. I was reading online everywhere. Yeah, take spray adhesive, blah, 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 to to fasten wallpaper to wood, it's gonna work out and it didn't, it was just outright terrible, it was, it was not even close to what I wanted it to be. Also the wallpaper didn't distribute uniformly over the frame and everything even though it's square and it's just terrible and it got dirty so quickly and I should have just bought some white cloth and, and stapled it to the whole frame which I'm probably going to do. Um, Next, this whole wallpaper idea didn't turn out nicely, it's not tensioned properly, it's just a huge mess and it pisses me off. Um, yeah, That's as far as this goes for today, let's see if I can come up with a better solution involving cloth next. Oh, oh well hello there ladies and gentlemen, I am back and... As mentioned before, I was severely pissed off by everything that happened with the photo background. In fact, I was so pissed off that I cleaned up my whole workshop and it looks like new. Just looks fabulous. I even have a clamping rack now. I, I was cleaning up yesterday the whole day and yeah, <laughs> just had to be done. Uh, one reason was because I want to get rid of the dust, I found a different alternative. Um, which I want to install. This is something that I planned um, on installing once I move into my house and everything. I want to in install it there for, for big photo shootings of products and big end shots for videos. What I'm going to do is I'm going to install a paper bag background basically, which I can just roll down when I need it and if I don't need it I'm going to roll it upwards. Um, and what I got here are savage background papers made in the US, three different colors, and also I got the set right here of hangers, which are going to be installed at the wall, and then I can simply roll it down, and 
I think this is going to be the most professional and best alternative I'm going to have. And yeah, this is what we're going to install today. Also, there's going to be a separate video on the whole in installation pro, uh, process in depth um, out on the channel too and how I'm going to photograph my products and how I'm going to film end shots and the like, lighting and all of that. Yeah, let us dive right in and let's see how far we are going to get today.
Don't you dare to judge me. Everything needs to be very clean and dust free. Yo, that is good. <laughs> That is awesome! Looking seriously great. Can't wait to take some photos. Let's get started. So guys, we did it! This is the new photo studio. Doesn't it look amazing? Thunder Cray looks seriously amazing, don't you agree? And I can't wait to also check out the super white background, which is at the very back and also in between we got the ultramarine three backgrounds and I also got at home a YN 216 um, light which can just change the color in general you can do like light painting with bluish color and the light putting plates in, in front of in changing the, the temperature of the white color just like with those two those are like cold white lamps and this right here is basically a warm white light and yeah, I'm going to take some photos now and also video shots and we're going to see how this performs. I can't wait, looks seriously cool. Let's get started. There's just one downside to my setup, it's the ceiling height. Um, if I take a photo up front with the second background, um, I'm going to see this roll up here. So I would need to edit something after the photos are done or I have to use for bigger objects like this wardrobe always the one at the front. Or I'm just going to switch those two um, if I really want to have a bluish background. Never mind that, it still works, I'm gonna make it work at least. <laughs> 